Hello everybody, I'm Jorge from VMware Tanso. Today, I'm really happy to announce the general availability of VMware Tanso Community Edition extension for Docker Desktop. It is a big milestone for us. After working over a year on this community-supported open source distribution of VMware Tanso, we're really happy to bring to all Docker Desktop users and developers access to a fully CNCF compliant Kubernetes cluster on your desktop. Tanso Community Edition also brings you the ability to install additional packages on top of your cluster to give you all the necessary capabilities that you need while developing your applications. But it is better for you to see it in action. So I will let my colleagues, Antonio and Rafa, show it to you. Hi, this is Antonio from VMware. And now it's time for the demo of the VMware Tanso Community Edition extension for Docker Desktop that we have built. So first of all, let's go to the Docker desktop screen. And from here, let's go to extensions and marketplace. Here you will see several extensions that developers have built. And so the only thing you have to do is just click on install on the VMware Tanzu Community Edition extension, and you will get the extension here on the left. And this is a welcome screen. From here, you can just get more information about what Tanzu Community Edition is but also you are able to spin up a cluster right in a single click, no? So let's create a cluster, let's press start, and it will take a few minutes on get started, but what it is doing under the hood is creating a single node and managed cluster in Tanzu Community Edition, and, but it is kind of opinionated installation because we are installing, for instance, Contour as an ingress controller, but also we are installing QBAPS. QBAPS is a package manager for your Kubernetes uh, cluster. You can install packages in a really easy way, either current packages, Helm packages, Flux packages, or other packages. So this is the um, what is included in, in this installation and it will take a few minutes in, in get it done. So let's wait until it gets finished and we have a, a cluster. After a few minutes, the installation is now completed. So let's have a look at the logs. It started creating the cluster, then some namespaces, installing cube apps, installing the ingress controller, contour, but also it has exposed the cube config directly on the host meaning that you are able right now to interact with your cluster using your kubectl command line. So that's all on the cluster installation. Let's see what our extension is able to do right now. KubeApps is another great feature that comes shipped with the VMware Tansu Community Edition extension for Docker Desktop. KubeApps is a web based application that enables users to deploy, manage and upgrade applications on a Kubernetes cluster. So what you are really getting is an easy to use UI for managing all your Kubernetes applications. Let's see what you can do with KubeApps. You can see the applications and the catalog tabs on top of the extension screen. Let's take a look first at the catalog. Here you have access to a huge catalog of applications curated to be installed in your Tansu cluster. Out of the box, we are shipping the Bitnami catalog and the TCE catalog. You can add more repositories. We will get back to that in a minute. So you can filter by package type, like Helm and Carvel, by namespace, but you can also search by package name here. Let's pick WordPress to perform an installation. If I click on it, all the information about the application is presented and you can see, for instance, the possible parameters that can be used to customize the installation. And a specific version of the package can be chosen too. You can see here both the package version and the application version take into account that package and application versions can increase independently. So let's install package version 14.0.0. Let's customize our WordPress installation. We can give it a name. We can choose which namespace to use. 
and we have two ways to input parameters. We have this beautiful form. We can change, for instance, the surface type to cluster IP, but we can also use YAML to put the values there. Now, regardless of the way that you use, you can navigate to the changes tab and you can see which changes have been done to the default values. Now we can easily deploy just by clicking here, deploy. Let's explore now the other main tab, applications. Here we get an overview of the installed applications in our Kubernetes cluster. Again, we can filter by name, by package type and by namespace. We can see here we have our recently installed WordPress. If we click on it, we go to the installation details of that application. On the top of the screen, we can see some quick information, like the pods that have been created, the access URL if it's exposed, and some application secrets that are generated at the installation time. Uh, you can, for instance, see and copy the secrets. At the bottom, we can see the status of the application, in this case, is installed. And remember, this is an application installed in your Tansu Community Edition cluster running in Docker Desktop. There is also the possibility to see newer versions available for the application. We can also see which application resources have been created by the installation process like deployments, stateful sets, services, or any other resource. And if you are not sure which values you used when installing the application, you can check them out here in the installation values tab. You can see every single value that was used for installing this package. Last, in the installation notes, tab you can see the output in this case from helm after installing the package now we have our application installed and we know there is a new version available so how do we upgrade to that new version we use this upgrade button and we can easily pick which version to upgrade or downgrade our application in this case, I'm going to pick the latest one, and it is as easy as clicking deploy, because all the values that we used when installing the application will be kept. Now we can see we have the latest package version. Now we also have the possibility to roll back to any previous state of the application. For instance, in our case, rolling back to the version 1 would mean rolling back to package version 14.0.0. Finally, if we want to get rid of the application, we can delete it easily by clicking on this button and the application will be removed from the cluster. So this was an overview of what you can get with the Tansu Community Edition extension for Docker Desktop. I hope you liked it. And finally, a few words about the process of creating the extension itself. I mean, since day one, working with the Docker team has been exceptionally rewarding. They have created a comprehensive SDK for creating extensions that make it easy for anyone to bring their technology, their logic into Docker desktop. The SDK provides multiple capabilities, including the execution of the logic on the Docker desktop VM directly in the VM commonly to provide the extension core logic, but also it's able to modify the user system host, I mean, typically to contribute to add different binaries on a user installation. Besides, the UI is built on top of React, and Docker already provides a material UI theme, so it, it's really easy to, to customize, to, to get this look and feel. You know? And finally, the UI to interact with the, with the host and backend capability is really easy to use and really powerful. So it has been a really nice experience to work on the extension.